All right. Okay, this is a comics video. Let's let's have a look. Just a sec. Okay. Got Google News up, and um, I've typed in house fire. Okay. BBC Middlesbrough house fire for children among six regs. Fifteen hours ago. The Examiner house fire at thirty one seventy one Woodside Road, Whiteford. Ten hours ago in uh, Tasmania, Australia. Seattle Times, two injured in Ballard house fire 12 hours ago. Click to Houston, it's unbelievable, 63 year old dead after house fire in SC Houston fire fed say. Seven hours ago, and I'll do a couple more. CNY Central, Syracuse house fire caused by children playing with a lighter. 14 hours ago, and one more. There's quite a few further down, it's, it's a huge amount. WTHR, one killed in Near East house fire. Uh, right, four hours ago. Okay. Now that's that's house fire. Now, um, one of the big ones also is uh, this is a big one. Floods. This is a big one. Emergency flight drops up 36 tons of supplies to flood ravaged Cuba PD as Stuart Highway set to reopen. Nine news 23 hours ago, Australia. And I won't go on with that, but um, fire, flood, and killer bees, but um, fire, flood, uh, and uh, cyclones and things. Twisters do a, a fair bit of damage at times as well. And, uh, you know, I mean, there, there's some of the things which every week, and let me see, statistically... Probably most homes have a comic or two in them. Most homes have a comic or two. And some homes have a bit of a comic collection. Some homes have a bit of a comic collection. Most homes have a, a book collection of sorts. Most homes. And other things as well, of course. Other collectibles and antiques and all sorts of things. So, apart from traditional wear and tear, the, the, the life of the the comic we're talking about being used up, we have factors like floods and fires. One would imagine that every week, with the total number of house fires, where the house is burnt down, every week in the, for our purposes, the Anglosphere, the Anglophone, the English-speaking world, for the most part, for English comics, talking about English comics, I guess, uh, English-language comics like DC and Marvel and stuff like that, Every week, one would imagine that a chunk of... There, there would be a collection or two, which is... And sometimes with those big cyclones and huge water damage, like, was it Cyclone Katrina and things like that? Submerse and, you know, water damage and out goes... Those things do widespread damage and a lot of comic collections no more. But I think probably on average every day we've, we've lost a comic collection or two. Maybe quite a few. But prob there's, there's things which are going, you know. So, so what is, why am I talking about wear and tear and, and damaged comics and destroyed comics and things like that? Okay. Now, uh, something I'd also want to talk about is this. I want to talk about this as well. Census.gov slash pop clock. Now, the world population is on the right, but on the left is the US population. Now, that most of that speaks English. You, 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 you double that potentially and then some for the world population which speaks English. You know, so that, they're, the, they're the normal ones who collect uh, comics, the English-speaking world, American comics and things like that. Normal, normally in the English-speaking world collect English-language comics. Now that population, at the moment, in 2022, is still going up. Okay. Alright. So for back issues, older issues from the, ninth, let's say, 20th century, every day, just about, we probably still get a, a bit of loss. 
with wear and tear, with fire flood and killer bees, and with, you know, and um, other damages of it's used up and simply thrown out. Sometimes it's in a garage and it's just thrown out. There's wear and tear on the stock. Even your precious CGCs, they don't, you know, your graded comics and it's hard cover. Fire does that in. And apparently they're not waterproof, you know. So every day on that back issue stock, it's it's going down. Uh, every, every month on average, the stock of older comics is going down. Whereas with the, the population clock as an indicator of the English-speaking world's population still rising, there's usually some sort of correlation between the comic collecting community size and the population. It's probably increasing a bit, I guess. So with increasing potential demand and a gradual diminishment of stock, of supply and demand, potentially for a lot of issues, especially those keys and things like that, with supply and demand, prices rise. And also with the fact that some people just keep their comics, with the supply and the demand when it comes to market, for older comics, as time goes by, the price can rise. Especially when there's a spike for various, you know, featured reasons. <laughs>